the excel irr function returns the internal rate of return for a series of periodic cash flows represented by positive and negative numbers here is the syntax values an array or a reference to a range of cells representing the series of cash flows for which you want to find the internal rate of return values must contain at least one positive value and one negative value to calculate the internal rate of return irr uses the order of values to interpret the order of cash flows be sure to enter your payment and income values in the sequence you want guess a number that you guess is close to the result of irr it should be provided as a percentage or corresponding decimal number excel uses an iterative technique for calculating irr starting with guess irr cycles through the calculation until the result is accurate within 0.401% if irr can't find a result that works after 20 tries the pound num error value is returned if guess is omitted it is assumed to be 0.1 10% if irr gives the pound num error value or if the result is not close to what you expected try again with a different value for guess for example we have an initial investment of $70000 with a varying income from it for the next 10 years to calculate the irr use this formula pass the range of cash flows in column c guess is omitted Usually Excel formats the result automatically to percentage with zero decimal values. The result is 22% which is the internal rate of return for the cash flow after 10 years. If you want the result to be more precise, format the cell to percentage with the number of decimal places you want. On the home tab, click on the number format. Select percentage, select the number of decimal places you want. Click on okay. Now the result changed to 22.15%. You can also calculate the IRR for every period and see when exactly the investment is starting to have a positive internal rate of return. For year 1 use this formula. Use absolute reference for C2 and relative reference for C3. This will make sure that when you copy the formula down it always considers the entire column till the row where the formula is applied. Copy the formula down. The IRR after 1 year is minus 82.86%, after 2 years it is minus 44.35%, etc. It shows that the investment of $70,000 with the given cash flow has a positive IRR after the 5th year. IRR returns monthly internal rate of return when used to calculate the internal rate of return for monthly cash flows. For example, we have an initial investment of $7000 with a varying income for 12 months. To calculate the internal rate of return for month 1, use this formula. The function returns the monthly internal rate of return. To convert a monthly IRR to annual IRR, use this formula. You can also use the IRR function directly in the formula. Copy the formula down to other periods. some months have 31 days while others have 30 or few year the monthly periods are not the same length therefore the irr will always return a slightly inaccurate result when multiple monthly periods are involved a pound num error may be returned by irr functions because of these reasons the supplied values do not contain at least one negative cash flow we have only positive values in this range so the irr function returns a pound num error if irr can't find a result that works after 20 tries the pound num error is returned even when all the values passed are correct if there are intermediate investments in between multiple irrs can be found for example for these cash flow values calculate the irr using different guess values guess can be passed as decimal value or percentage If you know what kind of return you are expecting from a certain investment use your expectation as a guess pass as 0.5 and minus -20% two different internal rate of returns are returned for the same cash flow values when you get more than one irr for the same cash flows 
choose the one closest to your company's cost of capital. To download practice Excel file, please click on the link in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.